So I went on eBay and bought 106 Choose Your Own Adventure books. Inside the Cave of Time, um, Terence Prendergast wrote his name and he left four pages of a diary inside this. Stole money from parents, bought airline tickets, ran away to Scotland, came back next day. Saturday detention times eight, left school with intention to kill myself, stole, suspended and expelled. So my question to you as an audience is this, should I put the diary back in the book I found it in and move on with my life, or should I try and find Terence Prendergast and reunite him with his lost diary? So it's number one to try and find Terence Prendergast is yes, and two for no, 10 seconds, vote now. Nathan, describe the show in a sentence. Awkward. We uh, will have our first uh, Londoners coming in here to see the full show for the first ever time. It's quite exciting. Well, I've spoken about Terence's diary to enough people to have persuaded three documentary filmmakers, Fernando, Nick and Sam, to join me on my quest. You can see that, right? How are you feeling about walking to the door as contraption? How are you feeling right now? I was alright a minute ago and it sort of comes in waves. Uh, 5.9% of you yes, which is good, otherwise this would be a very short show. Um, it's coming back. What happened? It's cold. <laughs> it really does determine what kind of audience you are today. Oh. So, 44.7% of you believed in true love, but 55.3% of you want to hunt down an old man. What kind of audience are you? It's a, it's a fascinating experience. Adventurous. I loved it! Oh, Quite moving. It took you to a different place. And I didn't read Choose Your Own Adventures, <laughs> but it still yeah. really touched me. That was amazing. <laughs> Best thing I've seen all year. The opportunity to, to choose which option to go, it really actually puts you into the story. There's like one option in there and I feel I need to come back again. I thoroughly enjoyed this programme. I completely got into the spirit of it. I was very, very anxious to know what was happening. Now, it is an embodiment of Choose Your Own Adventure and you don't know what you're going to find. Invigorating. <laughs> Exciting. Complex. It's made me cry. I've seen it twice now and it surprised me both times. There were gasps, there were cheers, you know, people were really investing themselves in it. They were shouting to people along the way. Go on! I was like, number three. Hey. Number three, you hey. want you want people to see the story <laughs> that you want. Even though they're, they're real real human beings and it's real life, you felt like it was characters in a book that you deeply cared about. I mean, certainly I was feeling very responsible for what happened. Ambiguous. Choose your Difficult. Profound. I've been trying in for the last year and a half to describe it, and it's impossible, isn't it, really? You've got to see it for yourself. It's part documentary, it's part film, it's part cinema, it's part theatre, it's part magic. Beautiful, astonishing, um, and reminded me of being 15. That's brilliant. Thanks so much for a wonderful experience. Choose wisely. I'd like to share with you the story of one of those obsessions. And it begins with this. Choose your own adventure number one, the cave of time. Why do you think it's so difficult to define the show? Because there's nothing else like it. 